Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I'm Catherine. I have a book haul today. My little church book sale was open. So I was very excited to be able to go up there and, and pick out a few books. I didn't get a lot. I'm, I'm much choosier now than I have been in years gone past. This little book sale is only open during warmer months because the old church that it's in has no heating <laughs> and no air conditioning for that matter, but they don't care about that part. So, um, and they know me up there, so they, they will put some books, some covers aside for me and some books aside for me in case I want them, which is lovely. Um, this one, they never, I never know why they all have different reasons why they don't save the guts for me, but I still, I love that cover. The John Bradshaw's Complete Guide to Better Gardening. And I just thought, how pretty is that? And I figured maybe, I don't know, maybe a lap book. Maybe I could, uh, I don't know, for a friend, make a word snippet book. That might be a nice thing to use it for, a word snippet book, because this spine is, is uh, small. Or else put a bigger spine on it and use this as a bookmark. Not sure. They had a couple of... They had quite a lot of Reader's Digest, but only a few old ones. Um, and I don't mind them taking the guts out of these. I never use the guts for the Reader's Digest anyways. I just like the size of the Reader's Digest. And uh, I may very well use these ones uh, simply to recover. I have some beautiful um, Christmas fabrics. Looks like somebody already tried to... Look at that. That's already been... Oh, no. They just didn't rip it apart properly. Okay. Oh, hold on. I have some books falling on me in the back there. Oh, okay. I thought somebody had tried to restore this, but they didn't. Um, let me see this one. Yeah, they cut the whole thing out in that one. Um, anyhow, I have some beautiful Christmas fabrics, and I have never... Um, recovered a cover with fabric before so i'm looking forward to playing with that so i got those covers and i got a few more that i grabbed she said really you want that and i said oh i wish you hadn't taken the guts out i said i love this look at that is that a beautiful mess this reminds me of the the british nation that i just finished i love the color of it i love how mucky it is I love that Gervais Remillard, uh, in grade four, uh, wrote their name on the cover <laughs> and inside. Gervais Remillard. Hmm. And Janet, uh, Janet Watson, too. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I love that one. That's, I, and I love, maybe it already has its own theme. I don't know why that's there. And I wonder what it was underneath, but I'm not ripping that off to find out. I just like it the way it is. And same with this one. I love when a title is intriguing. So this one is uh, The Great Adventure. It's from St. Catharines. Wow, that's a few hours away from me. Um, might as well take that off. So this will make a really cute... Uh, I think a shabby chic type journal with the lace. I love doing those now. That took me so long to do those. Why am I taking this apart now? Um, yeah, I, I thought this was interesting. I've never heard of a feminine version of Donald. Donalda Dickey. Donalda Dickey. Oh, and it looks like BP was in love with SW. Well, hopefully they found each other and lived happily ever after, right? Alrighty, so let's see what else I found for when I make my great big books, my big uh, commonplace all sorts books. And, and I love putting um, a beautiful old masterpiece art, piece of art on it. I found this big one. These books were a dollar. I found this big one. Oh, it's not something. My dearest Lynn, on Mother's Day, 1996. I hope you enjoy these portraits. Uh, I know you will understand them, for you are a very loving mother. Aw, from your mom. Isn't that nice? 
Anyhow, it's got some really beautiful um, big paintings that just look really nice on the front when they're matted. Look at this mother playing. Um, I don't know whether that's a mandolin or what kind of instrument that is to her baby. That would look gorgeous on the cover of a journal with some old brass brads. Love that. So there's quite a few, uh, of course, religious ones. The Madonna has always um, been the main mother and child paintings for centuries now. But then there's also some some different ones. Imagine your children playing with a huge cross. <laughs> oh my. Um, gee, that's pretty. So yeah, I, I thought that this... Um, I love that one. Look at that little child looking up at her, probably hoping to have a little bite of... Please, Mom, a little bit of orange for me. <laughs> How cute. Oh, woman peeling apples, it says. That looks like an orange. That doesn't look like an apple to me. But you know what? Apples makes more sense. Is that Hieronymus Bosch? No, Gerard, Gerard Terborsch. Oh, Borsch. Cute. Anyhow, I'm not going to go through all these. Oh, there was an alarming one back there. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, Picasso. And then, of course, Salvador Dali's is a little bit unusual as well. But, you know, that's Salvador. Oh, my. Anyhow, so I like that. And for a dollar, that gives me the covers for lots and lots of beautiful journals. Now, what else did I find? I found some big books. But you know me, lately I'm enjoying making big books. This one's going to need some work here. So this is Wonders of the World. And it's just got beautiful embossing on it. And it's got um, just a lot of black and white photos. I'm not sure how many of those I will use. Black and white photos, I usually prefer it to just be people in everyday life. And not necessarily places. So I'm not sure how much of the guts of this would get used, but the book itself is lovely. That's gorgeous. I would use the front. And I like that picture of the Buddha. That's nice. So that's a that's a big one. Um, this one's nice too. This one is the story of the world in pictures. So it's going to need a bit of cleaning up, but I love I love this embossing here, and there's room here to still put maybe a beautiful painting. And then this one again, it's it's got lots of sepia-toned photos, so those are a little bit better, but again, I'm still not sure. I'm not sure how much of these, but never say never, right? Hmm. So there's that. What else? Some of them I like just because the title is intriguing. Like I like this one. Innocence and Experience by Phyllis Bottom. Bottom. It's not that old. 1938, I think I saw. 34. So it's close to 100. Um, anyhow, this one, again something interesting to go here or maybe some brassy colored metal work keys and chains and things on it i think that would look pretty with that and again that title i love an interesting title or a fun title this one is um oxford dictionary of nursery rhymes so unusual to still have the dust cover 19 that says 1957 there it's still in beautiful condition I'm not sure what year it was actually published. Fifty-five. So that's nice. I will make a journal out of that. That's in beautiful condition. Can't you see a Mr. Snooks type? Uh, Mr. Snooks type journal. I love doing those now. What else have I got here? Oh, there's one more over here. Okay, this one I thought was cute. I thought this might make a beautiful brown 
a Christmas journal, the Dickens book. And it just has little uh, scenes from out of different, um, different Dick Dickens stories, Martin Chuzzlewit, the old curiosity shop, Nicholas Nickleby, Pickwick Papers. It just has little, little bits and pieces out of his stories. Great Expectations, Bleak Cast, David Copperfield. Yeah, you know what? I just thought to as a challenge, maybe wouldn't that? We always think of Christmas with Dickens because of a Christmas Carol, and wouldn't that make um, a beautiful old in a, in brown tones for Christmas? Now here's a pretty one that I got. Me and Nobbles, and it's a little boy and elderly woman, probably his grandmother, I'm presuming. But even the even the spine is lovely. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty book. I liked this one. I I don't know. I got a lot of brown books this time, and I really like them. The Country Banker. And I just thought, isn't that pretty? You know, I can see. Um, putting the exterior signature threads on that, the way I've done here with Fritzy. I could see that would look really pretty on the side, on the, on the spine blah, <laughs> of the country banker. I got this one. I think it would make, first of all, pretty uh, shabby chic book with lots of lace in that um, high school French grammar book. But I also like the pages because they're French. So I, I like this one. These ones often turn out to be some of my favorite. 1923, so it's almost 100 years old. This one is kind of cute. And I don't have, I'm not even going to attempt to try and fake a Scottish accent. But it's called the Kirk in, the Kirky the Clon, Clon? The Kirky the Clon. And it's all written in the way uh, Scottish people speak. So you can see the way it's written. Um, yeah. <laughs> I had a friend, friend once um, out of Scotland. Boy, he would have been able to read this beautifully <laughs> and give it... Uh, uh, do it justice. I am not even going to try, but I loved, I loved the spine on it, and I loved um, that there's room here to put some kind of beautiful picture. And then the last one is again the spine is just so beautiful. It looks like it's a religious book on just you know someone's opinion on the Christian Church uh, evolving from from out of the uh, Jewish faith. So the synagogue, not the temple. Model of the Christian church. Oh, these books tend to hunt me down. But I do enjoy making them into something new. Now, I could not find a date in this. But it would not surprise me early 1900s, very early 1900s, just the way it feels. And the papers. I'm going to do a hunt online and see um, if there is a, if I can find a date for it somewhere. But I, my gut tells me after all this time of looking at old books, I really, really think this is very early 1900s. Well, we'll see. Anyhow, I loved that spine. I just think that the font is just gorgeous. So, so that's it. That's uh, that's my haul. Those are all my books. So uh, uh, they're a little bit different. My taste in books is evolving, which I'm rather enjoying. I'm enjoying the um, just you know making pretty books out of maybe plain books. Anyhow, that's it. So short and sweet. A short and sweet little book haul. I'm going to get back to work on Fritzy. She's almost done. And uh, so probably within the next uh, couple days, there'll be a flip through of uh, Little Miss Fritzy.
So take care, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your weekend and that you're uh, safe and healthy. Take care. Bye.